Uh, of course, the Carl Cox Ninja 400s are uh, stock suspension and under Carl Cox guidelines, and the lights going up. As we see them getting down, ready to go, lights are out, and an awesome start there from Cameron Leslie. He gets a big jump off the line in front of in, in, in front of uh, in front of Caleb Gilmore there as they come into turn one, and we can see that uh, that Cameron's Cameron's got a nice aggressive drive down there into turn two as he tries to block uh, block Caleb there into into turn two with the, his teammate and the other D6M machine. Uh, coming in there and, and hassling him and through the up and over. Coming down there to, uh, to high pool, uh, the D6M machines lead the pack with Caleb Gilmore in tow. And coming up to Porsche Dipper, uh, we'll see Caleb trying to make his way in through the inside, uh, uh, taking that inside line and getting a nice drive down that short straight to the sweeper. Uh, hopefully you'll see uh, see them coming round in turn six soon and uh, coming up over that hill for for uh, all those spectators there up on the bank and look closely for uh, for number 51 of Cameron Leslie he'll be uh, pushing Caleb Gilmore on that nice bright green Grazi Valley Ninja 400 as uh, as they battle it out towards the line and here we are here and it's uh, it's actually, uh, it's actually Logan Rowe that's, that's, that's in, the, in the lead there. So he's, uh, he's pitched it from his teammate uh, 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 Cameron there, um, coming, up the, coming up the hill there. So, so uh, for a change there, it's Cameron that has to work hard to, to keep up with his teammate. As uh, Caleb continues to, to harass the two of them, uh, we see them Cross the line mode with an opening lap of 1 minute 19.042. Cameron Leslie crossing second place just behind him uh, with a 119.93. Caleb Gilmore uh, with 120.1. And then it moves to Sean White, Hamish Simpson, Dylan Byrne, Danny, Adrian Sosa, Ben Cook, Simon Beard, and Richard Boyd as your top 10. And uh, as we follow the pack around, uh, to the Porsche Dipper, you see that uh, Logan there is is uh, dominating from the front, with uh, with Cameron Cameron uh, doing his best to block Caleb uh, as they come out of that Porsche Dipper for that short sh uh, short straight to the to the sweeper, and Cameron uh, working hard there to, to to keep his teammate in range as uh, as Logan comes up that hill. Uh, Full, full tuck in behind that screen and and it looks like Caleb's going to try a different tactic here and go wide and uh, try and take the both of them at the line. And Cameron Leslie passes, crosses that line in first place with a 1 minute 15 and closely followed by Caleb and, and uh, with a 0.059 gap behind Cameron Leslie. Uh, Logan Roll, 1 minute 16.196. So uh, between the three of them, there's only a 0.1 gap, uh, and they're uh, and they're racing. That's they're down to high pool now, making their way to to Porsche Dipper, and they're starting to peel away from the rest of the pack. It's a, it looks like it's a three pack with with Cameron, Caleb, and Logan. Uh, Sean White there, a uh, lonely ride in fourth place with Hamish Simpson, Dylan Byrne and Adrian DeSosa and Ben Cook uh, being the, uh, the final group of that top 10. Now uh, Simon Beard just, just walked past him uh, uh, in the pits earlier on and he's still buzzing from his, uh, from his win in the, in the highest sun uh, Carl Cox Motorsport Cup race. Uh, so that's, that's a very well done. Also managed to catch up with Kendall and and uh, although she's a bit disappointed from uh, from coming off in that last cup race for putting in such a great effort, she's uh, she's she's still looking positive for, for for the next lot of races. And the most important thing is she uh, she wasn't good, so it's all smiles all around. And uh, thanks to Gavin Balthamai there too for uh, helping out in the pits and making sure that uh, that those uh, kit white machines are, 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 are spick and span. Coming through the up and over now. Um, 
the uh, D6M bikes really take each other out uh, as, um, as Cam was hard on the brakes there and uh, kind, of, kind of block, block Logan a bit, uh, which gave Caleb the opportunity to, to take them both. So we see Caleb's uh, in the lead now, uh, making his way down to turn six, and uh, the D6M bikes are, are close in tow. So now uh, we'll, be seeing, we'll be seeing Cameron having to work work hard to, to try and get back in front of uh, Caleb and pull his teammate along as well. And once again, these three have stepped it, stepped it out. They're, uh, they're uh, in, a, in a class of their own there with uh, looks like about a two second, two and a half second gap between them and, and fourth place Sean White, who's, who's putting in some really good lap times as well. He's, he's done a minute, he's doing consistent minute 16, just ticking off the laps. And uh, Hamish Simpson coming through there with Dylan Byrne as well in the, in the 1 minute 16. Adrian De Souza and Ben Cook along with Simon Beard and Richard Boyd in your top 10. Coming out here uh, through the up and over and, and you see that Caleb is still leading the, the D6M machines uh, around the higher ball and you and it's almost, uh, it's almost neck and neck as they go down into high pool, uh, down into Porsche Tipper, sorry. There's a short drag from there to the sweeper, and uh, you see them coming up on the uh, back markers now, so this is where, uh, where it's important to play your cards right and, uh, and pick your passes, because if you wait too long, you could give the, the bloke the opportunity to go past you who's sitting right behind you. So, um, so hopefully Caleb and, uh, and, and Cameron are able to navigate their way through these back markers uh, without, without any uh, big issues. So they're on their last lap now uh, and uh, Caleb Gilmore still leading with 1.15, uh, Cameron Leslie, Logan Rowe and Sean White in your top four. And it uh, looks like Cameron's Looks like Cameron's just snuck past them through the up and over. Uh, got in front of got in front of Caleb there, but they're up on some traffic. They're coming through the high pool high pool turn there. They managed to get around the outside of those two two fifties, and they make their way down into Porsche Dipper. Now uh, Cameron's quite strong from from here on out, so I think if he can push a push a gap between himself and Caleb uh, coming up this hill, uh, he might be able to snag the win here. Uh, looks like Logan. Uh, it looks like Logan's made his way, made his way through the field, but uh, he could be getting held up by uh, by some of these back markers. So, uh, well, uh, Cameron had to change his line there a little bit. And I don't know if that costed him a bit of time, but uh, that's given Caleb the opportunity to sit right on his tail and get a nice little stream up to the first line. And here it is. Oh, and does he get it? Yes, Caleb Gilmore. Caleb Gilmore's got that win. He just snuck in front of Cameron at the line. That's amazing stuff. He's just taken the win by 0.021. Um, and there'll be some naughty words coming out of that helmet of Cameron Leslie. Uh, Caleb Gilmore takes the win for this race, uh, followed by Cameron Leslie, Logan Rowe, uh, putting in uh, 1 minute 7, uh, 1 minute 15.8 is best time. Sean White, Hamish Simpson, Dylan Byrne, Adrian De Souza, Simon Beard, Ben Cook, Richard Boyd, Craig Smith, Sean Parker, Blair Skelton, Mark Van Wittering, Alistair Wilton, Greg Percival, Paul Ellis, Ben Mayo, Nathan Finlay, Esmond Williams is your top 20 there. And uh, we'll see the rest, of the rest of the pack making their way across the line now as the uh, checkered flag is up. What an exciting, what an exciting, exciting race, ladies and gentlemen. That was awesome stuff.